Welcome to our class on creating and editing percussion maps and layouts in Finale. These are the topics we'll be covering in this class. Getting started editing percussion maps in Finale, before editing your percussion layout, editing layouts, creating a percussion layout, creating a percussion MIDI map, adding a percussion MIDI map to your layout, setting the staff positions for the new MIDI maps note types. Finale's score manager has three selectable notation styles. When you add a percussion or a drum set staff to a score, the percussion notation style is automatically selected. Here's the overall concept using the terms and definitions in Finale. Percussion notation uses layouts consisting of percussion MIDI maps, which consist of note types, to connect sound samples on a device to notes on the staff. We'll start by going back to your score. Hit the spacebar to make sure your devices load their samples, assuming you've already added a new device, if that's what you're working on, and click in the percussion staff you want to edit. Later, having done this, you'll be able to audition samples as you add them as note types to your percussion MIDI map. Then, let's go back to the score manager. To view or edit your percussion layout, click Settings next to the Notation Style dropdown at the bottom right of your score manager window. The Percussion Layout Selection window opens. At this point, you have the option to either edit your current layout or create a new layout. Clicking Edit opens the Percussion Layout Designer, where you can view or edit your layout. You'll see a list on the left of pre-configured note types, which associate an instrument sound with the percussion staff position, define the note head symbol used for it, and the MIDI note used to trigger it. These MIDI notes correspond to keys on your keyboard. The note type's percussion staff position will not correspond to its keyboard MIDI note. It's independently configured in this screen. It's possible to add note types to the current layout if they're already in the percussion MIDI map for the device. We'll talk about how to add them in the final section of this video. You'll need to create a percussion layout if you're adding a new device to your staff for playback, such as the Native Instruments Contact Sample Player, and you want to map a drum kit. Let's cancel this window and return to the Score Manager. First, set the device for your drum kit staff to contact. Click Edit Player and put the Jazz Kit into the first open slot or whatever kit you like, save it. And hit the play button to ensure that all your devices load their instruments. And then click in the drum staff if you haven't already. Now go back to the score manager, click settings again, then click create at the bottom right of the window. An empty layout editor window appears. Give your new layout a name. Let's call it contact six drums. Then to add your new device to the layout, you need to click new next to current percussion MIDI map. This opens the percussion MIDI map editor pre-populated with its default general MIDI note types. At this point, click New next to the top lines drop-down to add a new device. A save dialog opens to create an XML file in your Finale MIDI device annotation folder. Make sure it's saving to the right location in order to show up in Finale menus. It needs to be in the Device Annotation folder, in the Finale 26 folder, in the Make Music folder, in Application Support. That's at least on the Mac. Click OK and you'll return to the Maps Editor. Now you're to the point where you create a new percussion MIDI map for your device, full of all your desired note types. We're going to create a percussion MIDI map for a Contact Factory Library Jazz Kit. This percussion MIDI map will create routing for all the sounds we want to use from this particular device, which is a contact multi timbral instrument. Typical of most percussion layouts, this instrument has a different sample sound or individual percussion sound, such as a ride cymbal, snare drum, etc., with all their variations, on every MIDI note. In the Finale Percussion MIDI Map Editor, after defining our device and particular map name, we'll begin to add our sounds by adding them as note types to define the MIDI note that allows Finale to play it. We'll define the MIDI note for each sound by finding it with our MIDI keyboard. We'll keep adding note types until all our desired sounds are in the percussion MIDI map for our new device. The following steps will repeat for each drum sound that is note type you want to add. Choose a note type from the selected device using the note type selector menu. Click add note type when you found it. When you add a note type to the map editor window, you'll notice its MIDI number is set to zero. Finale will listen to your keyboard. Keep yeah. pecking around right. until you find the right sound and stop there. That becomes the MIDI note assignment for the note type. Finale will listen for the MIDI note for any selected note type in the editor window. So be careful. Make sure the correct one is selected 
and don't hit a key when something else is selected if it's already assigned. To add a new note type not yet added to the current MIDI map, and if it's not one of Finale's pre-configured note types, click the custom item at the bottom of the list. Custom 1 is a good place to start. Add the note type to your percussion MIDI map editor. Give it a name and assign a MIDI note. It's important to note that only sounds available on the currently selected device will play. Each layout and MIDI map are associated with a particular device and you can't mix or combine them in the layout. Set the staff position for each of the sounds by dragging the left handle in the staff position window. When you finish that, you're done. Your score will play as written through the contact player. The player receives the same continuous controller data that goes into the area player, and the same controllers should work in contact. If you're not hearing them, that's for another class on another day about key switches and mapping controllers in contact. Thank you for watching. <laughs>